Hey everyone, it's Jason. Today we're gonna to go over the termination set and installing your top row of planks. So we've got a ripped row of planks here. We've completed our install with our full courses. We've ripped our plank to width, allowing for the expansion contraction of the plank. You can see we've just got a, a small gap between the top of the plank and the uh, bottom edge of the female portion of the termination set. The termination set is used where we're parallel to the planks uh, you'll see we've got a support leg on that termination base. The difference between termination set with the cap and say a two-piece uh, J-track is that support leg of that base. Uh, support leg of the base would interfere with the plank if we were in a, in a perpendicular plank, say in this case uh, vertical cladding. Um, we wouldn't be using that termination base, we'd use a two-piece J-track base in that, uh, that regard. Then we take our plank, rip to width, we get that in. Engage with the tongue and groove, and make sure we're nice and tight with our joint of the previous plank, and now we're nice and sat in there. That leg, support leg of the termination base is gonna help uh, keep that plank pushed forward so it will not fall back uh, in that case, but right now we have nothing to prevent the plank from disengaging from the groove. We can move it up and down freely. So to solve that, uh, using a, a self-drilling uh, self -drilling screw, we'll set that in uh, to that base, and then we're gonna set that to depth to be flush with the face of the, uh, the plank. So I'm just lining up my fastener so that the head just clears, just clears that plank edge. And then you'll see here, I'm just gonna set my head of the screw so that the head itself provides a positive stop to stop that plank from coming out. Yet it's flush, so it's not gonna interfere with the cap to be put in place. The next step after we've got the plank in, we've got our base in place for that termination set, we take our cap. So in this case, we're using our precision cap. That's the 5 8 cap. We line it up with our base, and then we just simply snap it in. Now I've got a bit of a luxury on this install that I can reach around. Uh, maybe if you don't have that ability to reach around to the trim like that, uh, you'll just use a uh, block and hammer rubber mallet. Um, the butt end of, a, of an S-wing hammer like this serves quite well to do that. And just simply get it in place. You'll see I'm sort of like almost two steps to get that in place. I've just sort of uh, engaged it to let's call it like a level one engagement where it's in place but not fully snapped in. And then we'll just do a final snap. I'll check my end. Make sure I'm butting right to that corner or adjacent component. And then now nice intentional swift hit and just that snaps it into that final stage of engagement. And we'll just chase it along. And then we should be sitting nice and flat. So again, to go back uh, to our steps of that top plank, we have the termination set uh, base has that support leg to support the plank from going in. We put that set screw to prevent the plank from disengaging upward. And now having that cap in place prevents the plank from uh, falling outward. And then that holds it nice, uh, nice and tight in place. Um, another thing I'll note is we didn't have any mechanical fasteners through this plank itself. Uh, this leaves the plank uh, free to expand and contract with the thermal movement. So last step on our wall, uh, whether it's panel board, whether it's our TNG uh, planks on a cladding application in any sort, uh, we're gonna install our, our U-Reveal cap. Uh, so we've got our base in, we've installed our planks, and then we take our cap, we've measured the cap, say in this case from the, the underside of our termination uh, uh, cap and the TNG U-Reveal here. We're gonna take our measurement from that finished edge to finish edge here. Make sure we're nice and tight. I am gonna start at the bottom and just sort of nest that in place here. Take the butt end of our hammer or a block or a rubber mallet and then nice intentional hit and just chase it along all the way up. And that's it. So there we go. To learn more, please visit longboardproducts.com.